And we back! I think it's time for us to help the Dallas Mavericks. More specifically, it is time for us to help Luka Doncic. And listen, I think that the Dallas Mavericks had a really decent offseason. Kyrie Irving is back. They traded away Davis Bertans and used that to get Derek Lively. Grant Williams on the sign and trade is the type of player they need. But I look at this roster and I still think that they're a ways away from a championship. And that's why I step in. And this video will not end until we win a championship. I want to put y'all on high alert, ladies and gentlemen. These hats that I've been wearing in these videos for the basketball enthusiasts enjoy. Y'all know my brand, Enjoy Basketball. These hats will be on sale tomorrow. I'm letting you know 24 hours in advance. At Enjoy B Ball over on Twitter, you want to put the noties on because when it's live, it's live. And it's limited. So I'm just letting you know now. If you, if you want these, the time is tomorrow. All right, again, uh, there is a big discrepancy between one, two, and three. 91 to the 78 drop off is huge. And I, I don't know if there's another team, another team of basketball with that type of drop off. Like I mentioned, a ways away. But you do have Luka Doncic here for a long time. Kyrie Irving is on an extension. And if I'm not mistaken, there's a third year here, but it's an option. It is a player option. Of course, Grant Williams. So this is what I'm thinking. These two dudes are it, right? I feel good about our backcourt being able to score with the best of them, right? But they need more. And I look at this roster and I see some of the contracts and I'm doing some mathematics in my head. Rashawn Holmes, $12 million. Keep, keep that in mind. Axie Kleber, $11 million. If I'm doing some math, that's uh, 20, 23 million dollars. Tim Hardaway Jr. That's 40 amps potentially. And we package those three players together. Now, it's got to be for the perfect dude because that's a lot of money and that's three rotational players that we'd be trading away. But I'm just saying, there's a world where we look around the league and figure out who's the next disgruntled star, and we hop all on top of that. So our starting lineup this season, um, this feels uh, this feels about right. Kyrie Irving, Luka Doncic, Josh Green, who I wish was a little bit better than the 76, but hey, uh, just maybe not that. Um, we get Grant starting, and then Rashawn Holmes starting as a duck and dive center. Then off the bench, we do have Tim Hardaway Jr. He could start, but I would rather take the defense of Josh Green right now. Maxi Kaliba off the bench. Seth Curry's back on the team. We still we still do have Dwight Powell get a minutes. And you know what? I will make it a 10-man because I do believe that Jaden Hardy should be getting some minutes. You know, showed us something towards the end of the last season. I think he deserves to get a chance at the NBA level. We do still have Derek Lively, Omax Prosper. They, they in the works. They in the works. You know what? I might even send them to camp to learn from some people. Hold on, can I do that? Because I don't think this is a one-year rebuild, boom, we make a trade, and then now we contend this. This might take a few seasons now. So let, let um, these dudes be mentored. Real Derek Lively getting mentored from JaVale McGee is not bad. That's actually not bad. You want him to rebound, you want him to be able to get that second jump, and you want him to be a box-out beast. I love that, I love that. And then with Omax, um, who do we want him being? I guess it's Grant Williams, right? You want him to be able to catch and shoot, you want some defensive badges like off-ball pest and corner specialists. You're going to be playing with Luka Doncic eventually. You, be, you better be able to sit in that corner and hit that shot. So I think we just simulate for some time. We try to keep our ear to the ground on, on what's going on around the league. Dang, Luka had a rough shoot tonight, but that's okay. Keep our ear to the ground about what's going on around the league and try to snag somebody. And listen, the snag don't have to be a su Man, we not going to be good, huh? It don't have to be a super a superstar. We just need somebody that's not a 78 overall as a third best player. That's all I'm saying. Davion Mitchell in the first for Derek Lively. I'm going to definitely say no to that. I believe in Derek Lively's ability to eventually be our starting center down the line. So I'm not trading him away right now. Um, and, and based on all this, we're 500 team through the first month of the season. I'm going to give it some time. This is a trade we got we to gotta think about. A 2016 first round pick for Dwight Powell. I, I, Dwight Powell has been a staple on this team for good or for bad. For a long time this year he's actually playing pretty good as a backup but a first round pick top three protected is something I can't pass up on Dwight I'm sorry you gotta you gotta find your way back over there in Memphis especially right now because we five games out of 500 my guy it ain't looking great for us and that opens up some time for us to say hey hey young fella you, you ready for some NBA minutes because right now we just need some we need some type of uh, juice we need some type of juice all right because Terry Rozier to the Spurs. I'm going to say no to that. We just need some type of juice right now. I don't know what these trades be. I mean, we still we still losing. But hey, some minutes for, for Lively. This is not going exactly how I anticipated it, which is fine. You know, it's good, it's good when things throw you for a loop for a little bit. 40-point triple-double for Luka. What, what are you averaging? 
Uh, 27, 10, and 11. Good shooting splits, 40% from three. Carry, what about you? 22, carry? Come on, man. 50, 40, 90, though. I'm going to, again, go to the, to the deadline because that's what things going to really go down. The guy I want. Now, this is a gamble because he's on the last year of his deal. There's a world where he just don't resign, and whatever we give away, we just lost. But he's Pascal Siakam. He's 30 years old next season. I want him on the team. So we have to make that money match. As y'all know, it's going to be a little bit difficult. Rashawn Holmes is injured right now. That throws a wrench in everything. Oh, he faking it. He faking it. I know he is. Oh, that just, yeah, that changes the dynamic of everything. Give them Omax Prosper. You give us back uh, this dude that should be playing for the Bulls anyway. This is not... <laughs> This is not good enough to get past Gals Yagam. Did I mention earlier in this video that the trades that we do are not realistic? Okay, I hope hopefully I did. They weren't budging anyway. All right, they weren't budging anyway. It's fine. Who else around the league is not performing up to expectations? The Pistons are bad, but they don't really have anything that I want anyway. Uh, Bogdanovich is pretty cool, but he's 34. I don't think we win the championship with him this year or next year, so that don't feel like a, a, a chance worth taking unless he's having some ridiculous season because right now if we miss the playoffs, we our fans are going to be pissed because we missed last year as well, so we can't do that. Um, the, the Rockets are still pretty bad. They don't have anything that we really want either. OKC didn't hit that next jump. They're too young. They ain't got nothing. The Blazers still have Damian Lillard. But other than that, they don't have anything worth getting. Jer Jeremy Grant low-key. <laughs> Would we be the team to get that Jeremy Grant contract? It don't matter. He's got a torn MCL. We couldn't trade for him if he wanted to. The Chris Paul experiment's not going great. They just won game under 500. Uh, so they struggling. Kuzma is an option. Now, Kuzma's contract is huge. What's your production feel like, Kuz? Talk to me. 17, 8, and 3, and 3.7. 30% from 3 is not going to cut it on this team. You have to be able to catch and shoot to play alongside Luka Doncic personally. I will add you to the list because I do feel like we need to buy something right now. But is it worth buying them? But you know what? Ain't no such thing as an untradeable contract, baby. You know, we pick them up. We move them down the line two years from now, a year from now. I don't know. They're, they're rebuilding. He's 28. I, he's not untouchable. You know, we might be able to put together an offer. That's all I'm saying. Um, the, <laughs> the Bucks are buying even though they're the, the 14th seed. So that's something that's going on. The Hornets are selling. Uh, they got they got Gordo, Gordon Hayward. The only thing about good about trading for Gordo, but <laughs> man, he sucks. He's really bad right now. The only good thing would be that his, his uh, money is off the books this season. And that is actually kind of interesting to me. So I'm going to add them to my list. The Jazz are not good. They're not going to give us Larry Market. And John Collins is not something of value to me right now. And then the Kings are also selling. Uh, but we, we're, not, we're not buying. Not from them. This is what I need. My financial breakdown for next season. So if we trade for Gordo, um, we'd be getting rid of Tim Hardaway Jr. We can't get rid of our guy Rashawn Holmes. He's got a player option. He's going to take that. We get rid of Kleba. I wish there was a way for me to like delete them right now so I could see because it tells you your cap room. So that's that's six uh, 26 million off the books. That wouldn't be enough for us to have another max spot or anything like that. So it's not worth it just trying to dump some money right now. It just don't really make sense. But I I'm just out here, I'm out here trying to figure it out. I'm trying to figure out options, you know? Because JaVale McGee also has a player option. This is $18 million in players that we don't even really want on the roster, which is bad. If we could dump all of this, who if we could dump all of this and just have Seth Curry, Derek Lively, Josh Christopher, and Omax Prosper, and Jaden Hardy, we'd be in a very good spot. Unfortunately, that's not the case. We can't, we, we can't, I mean, we could do that, but we can't do that. I'm so tempted. I'm so tempted. Let, why not? Why not, right? We do that, right? But this is my thinking. We do that during the offseason. We also remove, uh, we, re, not remove, we trade away Rashawn Holmes for, for nothing. We trade away the contract that is JaVale McGee. I mean, we could trade JaVale McGee right now, low-key. Um, even though he's per 36, he's, a, he's a ridiculous. We might be able to just sign Pascal Siakam right out. Gordo, welcome to the team. Oh, they don't want to do it. Gordo, welcome to the team. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, we do have to probably get him something. Just because they're taking the additional years on these dudes. We'll give you two seconds. If it's more than two seconds, we can't, we can't talk no more. Okay, we can't talk no more. That's unfortunate. I bet if I do reverse trade finder, it'll work. I bet if I do reverse trade finder, they go put together the same exact trade I had. I bet if I do reverse trade finder, they come up with something. Okay, they want Jaden Hardy or Derek Lively in this, but they also trying to give us PJ Washington. Um, we, we would prefer not to. <laughs> we prefer not to give up Jaden Hardy. I still believe in him a lot, 
Um, even though this PJ Washington contract is not too bad. Am I, I'm overthinking all of these. How about I trade finder those two dudes and just figure out what, what the trade find is thinking. Brooke and Robin Lopez, you started the Bucks are really bad. I mean, Brooke is also 36, going to be 36 soon. Not, no big deal, just potentially trading for the two best players on the Brooklyn Nets. This is not a realistic video, I've mentioned that before, but it's not going to be super, uh, super, super duper unrealistic. And that, that was what that was. Plus three, now I'm just, now I'm just curious. Wow. Wow. Hey, I know bad money is bad money, but I didn't think it was going to be that bad money. I'm going to throw him over to space of the Spurs. Similar type of deal. We throw one second round pick, get two expiring contracts. Um, and Zach Hans is not having a bad season. Neither is uh, Jetty Osmond. Boom. This is a minor step back, fans. I promise you things are going to be okay. Because I got one more trade that I'm going to do. And that trade is going to help us to make the playoffs. And right now, our goal is to make the playoffs. We talked to Luca. We talked to Reed and said, hey, just make the playoffs now. Our fans will be cool with it. And then next year is the year we really about to get into that action. We traded for Jay Sean Tate. I think he fits well as a guy that can run the three for us. Trust. All I'm asking is just for the, a tinge of trust as we try to put things together. Next year is a super important year. Just trust. Tatum wins MVP. Ricky Edier goes to Chet. Chris Paul is a six man. DPOY goes to Giannis. Desmond Bain was most approved. He jumped up to 27 on 50 Oh my God. He might have been the MVP in my eyes. Joe Mazzulla and company wins 71 games. Sheesh. This is their league. Luka Doncic is all NBA first time. Don't do, first team. Those are his numbers. Uh, boom. Ooh. We see Ant Man on second team. Crazy numbers from Ant. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we made the playoffs. All ass was a little bit of, little bit of hope, little, little bit. And now we did end the season five and five, so we're me, we're mid, we're mediocre, but we made it. We were same uh, record as the Lakers, but we had the tiebreaker, so we make the playoffs and not the play in. First round go against the Phoenix Suns. Y'all know what the Phoenix Suns are good, um, um, pff, really good. When you look at them, their roster like this, sheesh. But we do have Luca, and Luca has done it to these boys before. Now, in this game, it wasn't that. He actually fouled out. Even though he was very efficient, he ended up fouling out, and Devin Booker said, you're not going to look at me the same way. Game two was also a win by them. This time, it was Bradley Beal. They have the luxury of every game, it could be somebody different. And it was Kevin this game. Every game, they had a different leading score. But guess what? We had our same one. We had our same one. Kyrie, can we get the numbers up just a little bit? Oh, never mind. You're doing your thing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Kyrie. There's no help is coming. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Are they scared? Are they scared? They were up 3-0. Are they scared? Are they scared? They were up 3-0. All right. If we be the first team in history, right, to come back down 3-0, I mean, t talk about bad luck with Phoenix versus Dallas, but it don't like it's going to happen. This game seven is going down to the wire, and we lost by two. I didn't want to jump in. Oh, Luka with a stinky game seven. Sheesh, I didn't want to jump in because we got a lot of video left. So I didn't want to spend too much time in year one. I'm going to be honest with you. Even if we won that first year or that first round, we wasn't going to win the championship. So I didn't want to waste no time. Um, The Clippers make the finals. They lost. But I don't, I've don't. made videos on this game five times a week. So, so, well, okay, I'm exaggerating. So four, four and a half times a week. It is very rare that I see a, a regular Clippers team make the NBA Finals. They did. They lost, but they did it. They got there. That's all that matters. Okay, so this offseason is about to be really crucial. Boom. The <laughs> the Thunder have the first pick, third pick, and the fourth pick. I mean, what are you supposed to do? What are you, what are you supposed to do about that? And the draft class, um, I don't even know if we have a pick. But that's not this about. We need to be thinking about the money. Seth Curry still on the roster. Everything else and lively, everything else is gone. We're buyers. Oh, and uh, Grant Williams. We're buyers right now. And Grant had a good season for us. He shot 42% from three. This is going to be a really good offseason. I don't think we're going to get a start. I think we're going to get multiple players that can fit roles. We're going to get some people on minimums. We're going to put together a very good roster for year number two. Guarantee it. Um, we do have our pick this year. You know, at uh, past the lottery, I'll listen to offers. Chris Middleton, Vucevic. I'm thinking about free agency. Maybe I shouldn't be thinking about free agency because because Miguel Bridges is sitting right there. Nah, I want to see what free agency's like. So, I, wow. Whoa. For the 18th pick in Grant Williams, Sheesh, they are selling low. Kalabale and just how does he get more value? You know, they asking for two first round picks. They, they aiming them not. 
Uh, some of these trades are interesting. This is an instant trade. Two first round picks is a little bit too rich for a 33 year old uh, Chris Middleton. The Vucevic one is interesting, but we're actually going to use this pick, even though I don't know nothing about this draft class. I'm going to go for the best guy available. It's, it's Bronny. Get Will Sue Bronny. I, I'm draft. Oh, don't that mean LeBron comes to my team, though? Ain't that the way it works? Bron said he wants to play with Bronny, and we just got Bronny? Is Bron sitting in free agency? Because if he is, we're here for it. The first name I want to talk to is OG Ananobi. I was going to trade for him at the deadline or try to. I don't like, um, it wasn't going to happen. But I'm willing to give him a nice little contract right here. $19 million a year backloaded. He's got zero offers, so that's like an easy pickup for us. I hate how little Alex Caruso gets love in this game, man. He's so much better than what they got him doing. Um, when it comes to system fits, I mean, we might have to pick up Patrick Beverly. The man fits the system to a T. And you know what? Why not? Why not? <laughs> we don't need him. He won't play. But hey, he fits the system. You never know. You're going to need one defensive stop from your point guard. All right. This offseason, saw Luka Doncic get worse. OG Ananobi gets better. Five years, about $60 million. That's a steal. He's signing for way more than that in real life. Grant Williams is still getting better. We brought back Zach Collins. He played pretty well for us in the second half of the season. He's not the ideal center for us, but there's a lot of room for us to wiggle um, because we also still have Seth Curry's contract. And I brought back Josh Green on about three years, 30. He's not getting better. In real life, I love Josh Green, but in the game of 2K, he just don't be providing the way you need him to. So I re-signed him mostly to be a trade piece at the deadline. Um, Bronny James, of course, could be a trade piece at 18 years old. And yeah, we also do have Derek Lively, who only got one overall better. And Omax Prosper got one overall better. Our young dudes didn't progress the way you wanted them to, unfortunately. But I do, oh my God, we got a lot of PGs. But Bronny and Pat Bev are playing. Um, yo, we didn't sign a backup too? What am I thinking? Oh no, because my, my thought was, hey, Seth Curry's kind of that. He's 6'1", but he's more of a 2 than a 1 in real life. You know what I'm saying? So I might just flip him over to the 2 or just hit free agency right now and see who I can get for the minimum. I don't know. This team is a playoff team. We have to cut a player. I have fun doing that. This team's a playoff team, undoubtedly. I think there is a trade at the deadline that we could potentially do. Um, oh, my God. They, they cut Seth Curry. I said have fun cutting somebody. They cut Seth Curry. <laughs> oh, he was actually going to play in my rotation. Um, okay. <laughs> So who is sitting in free agency as a shooting guard? Malik Beasley could play minutes, but you know what? Actually, Gary Harris is going to be better because he defends. We have to cut somebody else, unfortunately. Pat Bev, get off the team. Get off. I, <laughs> I signed you because you fit, but you just too small. Nico Miritich is just sitting. Okay. And Mike James, they're sitting in the G. That's interesting, to say the least. But Gary Harris, you might actually play for us, Gary, as a system fit. Need some shooting guard minutes to start lineup. Oh, they want to start that young guy. I'm actually not against that because he fits more for what I would want to do for my center as a guy that's going to catch lobs and defend and get rebounds. So uh, even though his rebound is slightly below average defensively, I think we'll be fine. Uh, what's what's that block rating? What's that block rating? It should be, whoa, it's below average. All right, well, they want to start Jay Crowder over Grant Williams. I'm not going to do that. I do like Grant a little bit more. Um, so we will do that. But I think our bench is fine right now with the possibility of it getting a lot better. Uh, this should be a good year. This should be a good year. First game of the season is a win against, uh, oh, it's a little OG on an over revenge game. And he had a, whoa, two steals and two blocks away from a five by five in his very first game. They also brought in Caruso, and I'm a little jealous about that. I do want to make sure that OG's shot tendency is pretty decent. Okay, cool. And I want to turn Grant Williams' this is, is three-point tendency a little bit higher. I mean, he shot 42% from three last year. I want you to continue to shoot well. And I'm not trading the first-round pick for for that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Second game is a win as well. Oh, oh, listen. OG oh, go best around being all star here in Dallas, man. Stop playing. I'm going to simulate a little bit. We'll be back. Every time I do these videos now that I'm using the new rosters with the new trades and the new rookies, one big and stuff, stuff like this happens. Grant Williams and Bronny James for Larry Marketing and Walker Kessler. We pull off this trade, we win the championship easily. But this is so crazily unrealistic. It's so crazily unrealistic that I'm just not going to do it. I did not realize Bronny's value was going to be that high. <laughs> uh, well, I guess if you have Bronny, there's always a possibility that LeBron is going to come to the team. So I think that's why teams are interested in trading for him. But now that I know his value is that high, we might be able to go out there and get somebody super nice. Let's go out and figure out who we want to go trade for. Claxton got worse. Man, I was thinking Claxton was going to be the dude. He signed his extension. It's not that crazy of a deal. 
but he was an 80 overall last season. He's down to a 79. That don't move the needle at all for us. Uh, the Nuggets are not very good, unfortunate. Uh, Miles Turner, what's your, one year, 19 million? We add you to our list. You could come into this team and help us. They have DeMar DeRozan now. I understand why y'all not very good. I understand that. Uh, John Collins is the starting center of the Pelicans now. They they said, hey, we just we want to we want to run small, uh, six 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 eight six nine, and that's it. Um, so that's interesting. I do want to say, Ben Simmons is averaging 27 minutes per game, and three points. I just want to say that aloud so you're aware. He's passing and rebounding very well. He's getting two blocks per or two steals per. But I do want to say that is what his numbers look like. The only real option today, based on what we're seeing across the league, is bringing in Miles Turner. Um, we do still have Zach Collins, who's okay for us right now. He's actually averaging four assists per game, which is really, really good for him. Um, we got Mobamba in free agency. He's he's not playing because that's not what we want him to do. And then Lively has been awful. Um, so let's go make the trade. Let's go talk to the let's go talk to the Pacers. Let's go talk to the Pacers. This could be the thing that helps us get over that hump. He's making about 20 million per. The way we get there, hard now that I'm looking at it. Uh, Bronny is actually injured with a broken kneecap. Why does every time I want to trade a player away, they get injured right before that? Contractually, all this makes sense. Derek Lively, again, if you're gonna be shooting 30% from the field as my center, I do not want you to play for me. I don't know why you're taking this many threes. It's not who you are. Matter of fact, let me see your shot charges real quick. I just want to see what you're breaking. Everything. Okay, great. Uh, Josh Green, again, I, I would love to keep you on the roster, my boy, but they, they got you on here kind of bonds, and then we give them back Ben Shepard. I don't even know how he got on this thing. I won't even lie to you. I don't even know how he even got here. Actually, do y'all have a better guy? Like, we could bring in Jalen Noel. He would play for us. I don't know if he's playing for y'all. Oh, he is? Eh, it's not a great season. Andrew Nimhard is pretty good. I wonder if I can use him in the trade. Oh, the money's not gonna match, sheesh. Um, we'd have to throw them like Bamba, but we kinda need Bamba as a third string center, right? Nah, no we don't. I contractually, all of this makes sense. They're gonna say no, but that is why we have our draft capital. We have our own first round pick. It's not gonna be good enough, but we do have this Grizzlies first. That is good, and there we go. We just traded for Miles Turner. Now, it's not like he's having this, this uh, ridiculous, ridiculous season. <laughs> But he's better than what we had at Derek Lively at the five. I'll tell you that much. So this is our new team. I do want to make uh, Jaden Hardy a, a shooting guard officially. His overall is going to drop. He's, going, he's a little bit smaller. But we just need that for the minutes. And I mean, what a pickup at the beginning of the season. Gary Harris is averaging 13 on very good shooting. We cannot have him fall out of the rotation. I'm going to make him a small forward. His overall goes up. And now he should 100% be in the, in the running. I don't even know what happened to Coach. Who is this man running my team right now? Who are you? I don't want to fire him because we're good, but who the heck is this guy? Eric Bowman? Where's, where's Coach Kid? All right, well, I think that this is a championship contender team. The only thing I want to do is go sign a backup, a third string center in case we have an injury in the playoffs. Every other position I feel pretty good about, but we, just, we def definitely need a third string center. Uh, Nico Miritich is sitting in the G. I could not get over that. Tony Bradley actually could play for us. Uh, boom, Tony Bradley. There we go. Tony Bradley's a really good third string center. I'll tell you that much. Build around him. That's what Joel and B said years ago. All right, we sim. Ah, our boy, Luka Doncic, MVP of the league. DJ Wagner wins rookie of the year. Ron Holland, rookie, wins sixth man of the year. Giannis DPOY, Anthony Black most improved. He went from four to eight. That is an improvement. Shout out to Anthony Black. Tom Thibodeau, 58 win team wins coach of the year. Okay, Thibodeau, I see you. Um, yeah, we, so I feel I feel good about this year, uh, potentially. Palo Ben Carroll makes all NBA team. Shout out to him. I feel good about this team. Uh, we ended up being a two seed. Oh, all right, Minnesota. I'm interested. I'm interested to see what y'all got. We might see y'all in the conference finals or some. Uh, Nimhard is kind of injured right now, but he's trying to play through it, which I respect. We're up in the minutes of our top dudes because this is the this is our year. Media 50-40-90, OG Ananobi in his first season. He only averaged 16. They started off the season averaging like 30. 16 is pretty good though. So we'll we'll live with that. Um they want to they keep wanting to start Jay Crowder. He can't shoot anymore. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going to our guy Grant Williams, who definitely can shoot still. So to give me those minutes, uh Mr. J, and go ahead and give them to our, our top dudes. Defensively, I feel like we're gonna be pretty good. And we were pretty good. First round of the playoffs, we're going against. Let's see what team comes through that play-in, the Memphis Grizzlies. Ah, okay. 
Ja Morant, Marcus Smart, Desmond, ben, yep, the same roster, but y'all a little bit thin uh, in the in the front court. 76 overall, Steven Adams is not going to get it done, I don't think. Game one is a Dallas Mavericks win by 20 points. Ja Morant gave us buckets, but they still lost by a lot, so it doesn't matter. Game two, we win this one, and we contain Ja Morant, and we win by a lot. Contain Ja Morant, win by a lot is the recipe. This time, they were closer. But we had a triple-double from Luke and a double-double from Kyrie. And Kyrie had a bunch of steals. And we don't sweep them, but we get him in five. We get him in five. And I wanted my rematch from Phoenix, but they couldn't hang with LeBron and Anthony Davis and Rui Hachimura and Austin Reeves. And we get Bronny versus LeBron in the playoffs, man. Now, Bronny doesn't play. <laughs> but he's on the roster. And if we win this series, he can always hold that over his dad's head. Like, hey, before you went out, uh, old man, we beat you in the playoff series. We might want to get, when we go up three to zero, I'm giving Bronny minutes. Yep, Bronny, you're going to see the floor. Bronny, it's time. Oh, Giannanobi is injured. That does not look good. And he's shooting 44% from three in this playoff run so far. Uh, expected to mix two to four weeks. That's not as, he could come back in the finals. He can come back to the finals. Okay. He can come back to the finals. They want to have Kyrie Irving come off the, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where's, where, where's Jason Kidd? Because whoever this new coach is, he is tweaking. He is just, that's not, that's not who he is. He's just not, he's not built for these type of moments. He's not a good coach. That's what we just came to the realization of. He said, Kyrie Irving, you want to come off the bench because Andrew Nimhard happens to be on fire. And on fire for him is four points on one of, one of six. Kyrie Irving, also on fire, 30 points in this game. 21 points to stop it. But no, we're here to give Bronny James minutes. Um, just a few, just a few, Bronny. Oh, you know what? Get yourself 11 minutes, Bronny. We up 3-0. We can afford if we lose one game or so. We ain't even lose it. We ain't even lose the game, Bronny. What did you do against your pops? Uh, Two points, two rebounds, three assists. We'll take it. Not make a field goal, but he definitely hit some free throws. And you advance further than your pops did. I'll tell you that much. I'll tell you that much. That's all that really matters. All right, so we are in the conference finals to go against that team we said we're going to see. I am going to say thank you, Bronny, for your game. But you're not going against your dad anymore. So we're going to get your minutes up to these top dudes because we need to win this one. Um, Minnesota, let's see exactly what their team is looking like. Uh, Shake Milton at the one. Bruce Brown out of free agency. I don't know where Rudy Gobert is at. Don't ask me. He might still be on the team. He's just coming off the bench. Let's see. Game one is a loss. Rudy Gobert is still on the team. Just coming off the bench. All right. Huh. Game two, they have been dominating. Um, they've lost two games so far in this run. Where's OG Ananobi? This OG, this OG thing is, is going to be the reason, isn't it? How can we make this better? Now, Bronny, is he a good defender? I'm trying to figure out how we get stops, and Bronny's an elite-level defender. He's small, though. He's small, because now, right now we basically got Luka guarding Anthony Edwards. That's not a good recipe. Let's be real. We just put Gary Harris on him. Gary Harris is A-. minus. A, 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 a oof, This is rough. I might start Jay Crowder for the perimeter defense. Maybe Coach was on to something when he suggested that. I'm going to go make sure that Gary Harris is guarding Ant. I, I mean, I don't think that's going to stop him, but we're down 2-0. We should be able to just go out there and try to make some adjustments. See, OG Ananobi's a perfect dude. He's got a 94 there, but again, that injury, man, that injury is really preventing us. You know what? It's, Gary Harris is not that great either there. I thought he would be better as the perimeter defense being an 85, but it's apparently not good enough. We'll give it a try. We'll give it a try. Game three is a win. Okay. All right. All right. You know what? He still had a good game. Um, but Gary... Oh, my God. If Gary Harris is outscoring Anthony Edwards, we're going to win every single rest of the... Every single one of the games left. If Gary Harris is outscoring Anthony Edwards... This time, he had 14. Anthony Edwards had 44. So, we didn't outscore him there. Oh, well, the team outscored him. Can we, can we please get OG back? Gary has held it down long enough. Kyrie is now injured. OG is good enough to play, though. OG is good enough to play, though. Hey, shout out to Gary Harris. If we win this championship, we retire your number, big fella. Because you just came in clutch. Because now we can say, hey, O. John Anobi, it's your time to guard Anthony Edwards. And he's not ready for that. Because, oh, well, yes, he is. But you, but he's the best option we got. He's the best option we got. I think it was a 94 as a rating. 95 as a rating. Yeah, if there's anybody that's going to hold it down, dang. He still had a great game and we down. Okay. All right. Luca had another kind of stinking shoot tonight. Well, our back is against the wall heavily down 3-1 or 3-2. Gary, you again, you've been great, but we got to take those minutes away from you, player. You've been really, really good for us, and we will not forget that. But we need our top dudes, and Kyrie's playing through injury. OG's playing through in injury. But this is this is why we, we waited. This is, I mean, not waited. This is what we fought for all season long. Last year, remember uh, Kyrie when y'all weren't good? 
that was all for us to build this team for us to be good. So we need you to step it up. I know you injured. Bum ankle, whatever the heck it was. We're, we're down by nine with six minutes to go. Down by five with two minutes to go. Well, um, Kyrie came to play. Luka got to the free throw line a lot. Uh, where was OG on Anobi? Why did OG not play that game? And, 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 bro, what? He's there. And then if I go to the, the minutes against him, oh my God, we didn't normalize it here. I just fumbled. And now, oh, I just fumbled. Okay, all right. Okay, that's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. It is, but it's not, because we should be champions right now. Oh boy, all right. I don't know how we get, we do this. Can we convince Miles Turner to resign? I guess only time will tell. Kyrie Irving is really close to walking in free agency. <laughs> um, so, I gotta do what I gotta do, which is give this man every single penny he could potentially ask for. And it's a lot of pennies. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a ton of pennies. And you know what? Player option, no trade clause. Let's get in that sweepstakes. All right. Uh, but it is a it's, it's, we we could go get LeBron one year Laker deal. We could go get LeBron instead, and and the, just and just do the the Bronny the, get the Bronny and LeBron thing going. Do I, it's my video, right? I, I should be able to do that, right? Um, what is the Lake? The Lakers offer him one year fifty two. We'll give you uh, one year fifty three, unless you want. Do you want more? I can, I mean that's the most I can give you money wise. But can I give you two years? Can I give you a player option and a no trade clause, bro? Uh, he still wants to go to the Lakers. Uh, you know, I want to try one more time, but the different way. Can you imagine if I could snag Braun to play with Bronny right now? Both of their dreams would come true. I'm going to try one more time. Forget the, the second option thing. I'm going to give you all of the money plus a no trade. And that hopefully that's good enough. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. The answer is it's not. Well, there's that. We also um, need to somehow retain our guy Miles. Uh, so that's something on the priority list. We got a lot to do right now. Probably we run it back and just have a little bit more luck. We're NBA champions. Um, we still see Luka Doncic get worse for other reasons. Same thing with OG gets slightly worse by one. Everything else is good. Bronny's getting worse at 19, but he's got more badges now. What is happening? Why would that even be the case? I, yeah, I, I, listen, I'm not here to complain, I guess. We just out there trying to win. We're just trying to win a championship, and I think we have that possibility. Heck, we could do one more trade at the deadline, get Ronnie off this team, and go get somebody that's better that can contribute right now. Since he's getting worse, and yeah, send him to the Lakers. Forget it. You go play with you go play with pops. Um, again, they want to start Nimhard over Kyrie. I don't know what type of dirt Nimhard has on our coaching staff for him to be in the opportunities to start over Kyrie Irving. But you know what? Actually, that's a fireball offense. I'm doing it. You're, you, I don't know who you are, coach. You're getting out of here. You're getting out of here. Who's the best coach available? <laughs> Jay Wright. Come on, Jay Wright. Come come uh, be a coach in the NBA, man. I trust. I trust. All right, it's just about simulating at this point. Get to the deadline. Maybe make a trade. Maybe not. Let's let's do our thing. Luka goes back to back. His numbers aren't nearly as good as far as counting stats go. So that tells me that he had a little bit more help, which is a good thing. Kevin Porter Jr. was six man of the year as a bull. It tells me he's got a little bit more help, and I don't know where that help came from. Was it OG taking up some scoring? Let's see. It was uh, just not, not not really. Um, hmm, that's interesting. Uh, Yuta was pretty good, man. Yuta was a really good addition for a minimum two two million dollars a year. I'm actually surprised that Luca's numbers went down because it's not like somebody just took over. OG's numbers are the same. Kyrie Irving's numbers are slightly down. Jaden Hardy averaged two more points, I guess. Grant Williams averaged the same numbers. Yeah, I'm not sure why his numbers went down, but it don't matter. We're the one seed instead of two seed this year, so maybe just a little bit better. We're going to these Clippers in the first round. Um, they have Donovan Mitchell. All right. <laughs> That's something I did not see coming. Um, he's also only an 85 overall, so for some reason, he is regressing. And they got a guy last name Houston in Los Angeles. I feel like he should be a Rocket. Uh, this team is not good enough. They had their little finals run, whatever, whatever. They're not ready to mess with this Dallas Maverick team. 3-1 series us. We don't blow those. I hope not. I hope we don't blow those. Okay, we don't. This is what they start to pick up a little bit because we have to go against the Grizzlies. Now, we swept them a few years ago. They're actually worse now. They had Steven Adams, and then they had Marcus Smart. Both of those dudes are gone, and they replaced them with players that aren't nearly as good. Miles Turner, is he injured? The answer is no. Why is he not starting? Why was Zach Collins just starting over here? Be, be for real, Coach. Jay, That's Jay Wright. That's legendary basketball coach Jay Wright making that decision. Stop playing. I mean, it's not like Miles is like this knockdown. He don't even, 
he's not he's not what I wanted him to be. But he is an upgrade from Derek Lively, and that's all we need. A 3 0 series, us. We just can't sweep nobody, but that's okay. We just can't get rid of. No, you did not, bro. Stop, 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 stop. We are not here to be the first team in history to blow a 3 0 lead. Luca and Comp, come on, man. What do we own? Luca, what is up? He ain't, he ain't the same player. And y'all see what team in the conference finals already. We want our revenge, man. If we don't win this, I'm trading everybody. Except for Luke. I'm trading everybody. If we don't win this. <laughs> if we don't win this, I'm trading everybody. So be ready. Uh, is it happening? It looked like we're going to get out of here with a win. Okay, great. No, everybody's not getting traded. Even though Luca's still not being Luca that we want to be. Or Kyrie's not being the Kyrie we want to be. In a closeout game, 10 shot attempts is unacceptable, Kyrie. Luckily, OG had our back. And then Grant Williams had a crazy rebound game. All right, here's our rematch from last year's finals. We're completely help, healthy through and through. They got Juan Nunez, Nunez as the point guard. He's not guarding Kyrie Irving in open space. And we got a lot of open space. There's a win. Oof. That's what I'm talking about, Luca. And Miles with the five block 18 rebound game. Come on. Come on. Oh, somebody just got injured. That sign means somebody got injured. Who was it? Kyrie. Kyrie got injured. And uh, we don't have a backup center. Okay. All right. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. We have prepared ourselves for this. No, we haven't, because I didn't sign the third string center. So, uh, Miles, I hope you, you and Grant Williams, whose secondary position is, is center, I hope y'all ready. Oh, and Yuta. Actually, Yuta should be getting minutes, because Gary Harris is not the same player, even though he's pretty good, but he's cold right now. All right, get those minutes to him, man. You, we need somebody that can play some backup center. We are still up 2-0. If we can hold that, 3-0, three, three oh, okay. All right, Andrew Nimhar is actually really good. I can see why Coach was saying he should start over Kyrie. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. We're in the finals, man. Luka versus Tyler Hero is the conference finals MVP. Uh, they got Fred Van Vliet. Now, he's not the same. He's only an 82. But they still got Freddie. Caleb Martin still on the roster. Uh, Kyrie is out for a week and a half, so he will not be playing in this final series. And then Zach Collins has a hyper extended shoulder. He won't be playing in this final series either. Um, I wish I would have recognized that I don't. Ha I didn't have a third string center. Okay. Well, hopefully they don't either. Game one is a win by us. They have Nikola. Jo oh, they got Christian Wood. So they have a secondary center that's pretty good. Uh, Nikola Jovich doesn't have backup center. Okay. So they actually have two centers as well. But we. But, but that's still one more that we do. We up 2-0. Oh. All right. Are we? Were we the home team those times? Uh, no. So we took two in Miami. Series over. Series over. We took two on their home court. I knew. Hey, yeah, it's over at that point. Thank you, Luca. Sheesh, and we had to get it done. Miles actually stepped it up pretty big, even though he didn't hit none of his threes. He was awful from shooting from three in the playoffs. But hey, a championship is a championship. It took one extra year, but we did it. A little bit of luck, even though Kyrie Irving got injured. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like, subscribe, and let me know what team we should get to next.